Recognize the Caleb G D02. Hello team, Caleb here with the bloopers from season one of Whelmed, the Young Justice Files. You know what a blooper reel is. Things are gonna get a little crazy. There's some adult language. There are long, awkward pauses, there are background noises, there are jokes that just didn't work, or jokes that were really funny to Rich and me and no one else. There's also a lot of flubs. A lot of flubs. So have fun with that. There are also some segments that we cut out simply for time. There were some tangents that were great and had Rich giving us a lot of information. They just did not fit into the episode's that we recorded them with. There's also some alternate takes of things you already heard. So sit tight, have fun, and I guess see you later, armadillos. We made that very clear, Rich. Very clear. (laughs) Justice is in the name. All right. Man, I am super excited about this. Let's do this. Episode one. This is exciting. Hello, everybody. Let's break this down, man. Yeah, one of the best best shows uh, on American television in, um, whoosh, geez, I want to say decades. Personally, that's <laughs> uh, my un- unbiased opinion. Well, we are very excited to be sitting here talking about Young Justice. Clearly, yeah. one of our absolutely favorite television shows, let alone DC animated cartoons ever made. That's true. We're not just going to be talking about the show. We're just not just going to be talking about the episodes. We're going to talk about things we can learn from the episodes. For storytelling, you run in role-playing games. For those of you who have come to our show um, based on some of our role-playing game work, uh, we're going to be talking about a wide range of things here. So hopefully it'll draw people to the show that aren't already fans, and people who are already fans can learn a lot more about each episode and how deep this rabbit hole goes. And let's be honest, there's going to be a lot of uh, excited fanboy gushing (laughs) because we both love the bejesus out of this show and the DC animated universe. So yeah, hold on to your seats, guys. We're going to get a little uh, a little excited. We're going to get a little getting a little geeky here. Let's do it. Okay, it looks like check check to do the waveform song. (laughs) Waveforms. No, I think we're okay. There we go. (laughs) Uh, all right yeah looks like it's recording okay yeah i'm recording okay so we are good to go i gotta check my personal volume i keep wanting to whisper but i'm in a big i'm in a conference room so i mean i it's my lunch break i get to do whatever i want yay okay yay cool i'm in all right so Awesome. So uh, go for it. Go however, <laughs> how, however, sure you, however you feel comfortable starting I'm this right, episode. However I feel comfortable starting this episode. That too. <laughs> that All right. Too. Awesome intro music. Thank you to Emily. Bow, 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 bow. No, 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 Crank us up. Crank us up. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to the intro episode of Whelmed, the Young Justice podcast. I am rich, and I am going to do that again. (laughs) 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 Bloopers! (laughs) I'm so nervous about this. I'm so excited. I'm just so nervous. I don't, I mean, I got nervous on the first podcast I ever got interviewed on, and the rest of them, I'm just excited, and I'm fine. This one, I'm super freaking nervous. I don't know why. That's okay. I mean, this is this is that's your why. podcast. That's, that's why it is very understandable. That's why it is. Yeah, but see, there here's the best part. We can edit the bejesus. <laughs> you guys always out make me it. feel it doesn't matter. Feel very articulate, but DM Mitch always takes all my uhs out. It's really nice. People think I'm smarter than I am. It's great. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go again. <clears throat> and it was only whole, a Superboy T-shirt. Time. Just a Superboy T-shirt as well. No, wait, we're not going. No, wait. This is a. This has got to be. A, a, this is a family-friendly show. It's going to be a family-friendly show. I think maybe that'll go in the bloopers. <laughs> From the Reuter. Bleh. <clears throat> so at the time, it was uh, Robin, who is the leader and and obviously the head, probably the most famous sidekick in the group. Um, there was Wonder Girl, who was 
which is not the same Wonder Girl that's actually in Young Justice. This is uh, um, Donna. Oh shoot, Donna. It's not Donna Prince. Hold on, you're gonna edit this out. I gotta. I gotta. I was trying to pull it up before you got to it, but yeah. Yeah, it's Donna. Troy. Dang. Dang it. Yeah. Um. So I'll start over again. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to look up something else too. Just making sure, founding, founding, founding. I just needed to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. I did. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, I, I think we're going to have to cut a lot of that down. I went on for so long. <laughs> no, no, I think it was fine. I think it was good. Okay, good. I hope I wasn't. I, I feel like I might have been reiterating some points a few times, like beating a dead horse. So I would not be, uh, I would not have an issue with cutting some of that down so we can make sure that it stays focused on uh, the points. I probably made the eight points eight times i made the point of the fact that i'm looking at storytelling but um so feel free to cut any of that stuff down just so it gets i'd like the intro episode my my original goal was like hey let's do like a 20 minute 15 20 minute thing but we've been talking for a lot longer than that that's okay uh that's okay (laughs) we'll we'll definitely take some of that out Yeah. yeah cool well uh let's stop recording on that then okay do we want to do an outro at all or you think we're good? Um, How about we do like a, so thanks for joining us on episode zero and we'll see you soon on episode one. Cool. Something like that. Yeah, go ahead and do it. All right. This is Rich Howard. Thanks so much for joining us. Oops. Now I'm going to burp. <laughs> and <laughs> take 47. <clears throat> Need to get that checked. Well, thanks so much, everybody. This is Rich Howard. I'm sorry. This is Rich Howard. Thanks for joining us on episode zero, the intro episode for Whelm, the Young Justice Files. And we will see you soon on episode one. Perfect. Oh, I want to do it this way. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. Okay. So this has been Caleb and Rich. Thanks so much for joining us on episode zero of Whelm, the Young Justice. So this has been Caleb and Rich. Now you're laughing. So the- oh, look. look, I'll cover up the camera. <laughs> so this is Rich. What do I say? I'm going to say this is Rich and this is you say this is Caleb. Okay. Word. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I am now recording. All right. Hi, Caleb. Hi, Rich. I'm super nervous about this. I can't tell if it's nerves or excitement. A little, bit of <laughs> a little bit of both. Definitely a little bit of both. Uh, yeah. I, I guess between the two of us, I am I am the professional. So, Oh, yeah. Deep, sure. Deep <laughs> breath. Stay whelmed. <laughs> We're okay. Feeling the aster. Feeling the aster. All right. Let's do this. All right. <clears throat> On Netflix. Netflix. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, but it is also, yes. I'm babbling now, actually. We should cut some of that. Hey, that's okay. Hey, Caleb, you're going to do the editing. Remember to cut Rich out when he babbles. (laughs) It's important to remember that, I guess, or I guess it's not important to remember. I don't know what I'm doing. And think Tuesday ways. Stay and fireworks. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, Why don't we move on to our next segment, Feeling the Aster. So in this segment, Feeling the Aster, we're going to talk a little bit about the, the things we like the most and potentially the things we weren't super excited about. I don't expect that latter part to be a particularly long segment uh, in any episode. But I will say that there were a couple of episodes that were not my favorite. Um, and there's some reasons for that. And I will be clear on what those reasons are. That doesn't mean that they're not amazing. They're just compared to um, 26 episodes of season one they may fall a little bit shorter than some of the other amazing episodes in this episode in this episode gosh i don't know there's so much to like about you know what actually caleb do you think we should put feeling the aster after the mission briefing 
because it feel like the detailed episode review might be we need yeah, to tell you know what, what the that's episode... actually a, that's a really good point because we'll end up just repeating ourselves yeah we're because t- i'll be talking about things and people won't have reference for what i'm talking about because we haven't talked about the episode I'm okay thinking. so yeah let's just take it back and we'll redo segment two and you can do your little explanation again all right that sounds all good. right thing your next mission if you choose to accept it. it. Oh, wait, that's the wrong It's show. the wrong show, dude. <laughs> Batman did not give them a <laughs> choice. Did never say that. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be Alia. Do it. <laughs> Following that, uh, we'll be talking a little bit about what we liked and didn't like about an episode in particular, which may or may not be much on the didn't like front. Uh, and then we're going to talk a little bit about storytelling. And we're going to talk about the breakdown of how this show was put together and the things that you may not realize the writers were working on or having in their minds when they were writing each individual episode. Then our final, one of our final segments will be talking about the Easter eggs, so you can skip ahead uh, or skip that section if you want to uh, wait to watch the show. And then finally, we're going to be doing uh, a little fan service. We're actually going to be talking about links, websites, fan art, videos, things like that that you can find on the web. I don't have any idea why I went through that entire list. Hey, you know what? With the magic of editing, it's okay. going to be fine. Okay, great. Right, he, and yeah. And, and, and could, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm interrupting you. Go ahead. This is Rich, and I am now recording. Go ahead. There's going to be a half. Caleb in the future, I'm talking to Caleb in the past, so you may hear dead space. James D'Amato does a brilliant, brilliant job of writing a storyline that incorporates all of the Robins. (laughs) Caleb is is listening to me rattle on, and he just threw a heart up on the screen. He loves uh, Flight of the Robins as well. Um, Sorry, i got to pause for a second. I've been talking for a while. Anyway, uh, (laughs) bits aside, thank you for listening to episode two of Whelmed. If you want to get in touch with us, if you want to get in touch with us, the show podcast is the sh- Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's like I've never done this before. Professionals. Yeah. So, um, hello, Megan. So, the episode title for the third episode, or second, if you consider the f- originals, part one and part two. The release date was on January 21st, 2011, and as we get along with the shows, you'll see that the release dates got super wacky, unfortunately, which is, I think, part of the issue. But the in-episode date is July 17th. The director was Jay Oliva, who I absolutely adore, who has done some fantastic uh, DC Animated Universe stuff, and the writer is Kevin Hopps. And with that out of the way... Which I should look up. Oh, no. Sorry. Let me Give me one second. Let me see what else Kevin Hopps has done. I feel bad about not having something ready. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. He wrote. He wrote for the Smurfs. Maybe that explains some things. Batman, Brave and the Bold. Oh, actually, Spider Man, Wolverine. For oh wow! Actually, he wrote some really good Rebels episodes too. Man, he wrote Endgame? Man, this episode was so mediocre to me. Oh, wow. That's okay. That's Chippendale good. Rescue Rangers, Gummy Bear. Oh, Animaniacs? Jesus. Oh, he wrote for Zeta Project, too. Do you remember Zeta Project? Vaguely. Zeta Project was the Zeta Project was the Batman Beyond spinoff that they tried to do. It was like oh, um, yeah. Fugitive, but with the I do remember now that I'm seeing a picture yeah. of it. Yeah. I liked it. I'm I'm bummed they didn't. Uh, I keep forgetting that even existed. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> this is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I now have the waveforms, and then recording. Outstanding. Sorry, I went off script. Whoa, Rich. Whoa. You you wrote this outline. You got to stick to it, sir. That's true. I forgot. <laughs> hey, we have an outline. I'm actually pretty happy with the outline. Hey, I'm impressed. It's, it's outstanding. That's right. <clears throat> that worked well. Uh, it, I'm not going to let it stop my enthusiasm, though. 
I, I know. just can't. That's what I expect from you. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right. I am everyone's favorite co-host. I just forgot what I was going to say. The end episode date was a month later, uh, June 19th. Hold on one second. I don't think that's later because the other episode was in July. Yeah, that's really weird. Do we need to go to Netflix real fast? Pull up the tapes? Yeah, let me pull up the tapes. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone listening to our bloopers episode. This, yeah. this is where we're going to watch the show and see Apparently, what we Drop did Zone, wrong. Apparently, Drop Zone was much more interesting than I thought it was <laughs> because it <laughs> took place a month before the previous episode. What the heck happened? Young hey, Justice. We're watching Young Justice while we're talking about Young Justice. Yeah. No, do not remove it from my Netflix playlist, please. Never, ever remove this from Netflix. Playlist. Yeah. Permanent. Um, drop zone. All right. Welcome to Happy Harbor. Ooh. Let's see. All right, everybody, listen to us. Listen to us listening. Actually, Rich is the only one watching Star this. City, July 17th. It definitely says July 17th at the beginning of at the beginning of Happy Harbor. Okay. So we know that one's right. Yeah. Um, hold on. Un- unless Drop Zone has two start dates because it, it they could be setting the intro events before and then there's a second date when um You know, that actually makes sense. This does say June 19th. Let me see if forward. it's the post because um because the one thing that kind of bothered me which i thought was interesting was that we see um we see bane captured Mm -hmm. but then later in the episode he's free and running around and shooting at at cobra people right at cobra uh cultists so um there's kind of a jump of like hey how did he get out well if it was a whole yeah yeah fast forward a little bit this is this is fascinating discussion for you you blooper folks welcome Enjoy our unpreparedness. No, this is June twenty second. Oh, and the other one was June. What? Yeah. What? What's happening? This isn't right. Caribbean Sea, June twenty second, eight oh eight. Did, did did we just find a, a mistake in in the holiest of holies? Oh, that's not that's not did a we find a Whoops. did we find a, a a blooper no the show couldn't make a mistake like that it's too good oh no no um bum, bum, bum. well i'm gonna blame it on um i'm gonna blame it on happy harbor because i don't like that episode as much <laughs> Interesting. I'm watching the post credit on uh, Happy Harbor just to see. All right. So opening is definitely June 19. Cobra Bane. Yeah, they don't have a second. They don't have a second timestamp date on um, Happy Harbor. Just the first one that says July. Okay. That's so weird. Hail Cobra! Hail Cobra! Bow, wow, wow. And the other one was in. Wait! 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 It was in June. No. Yeah, you know what? The the very the Independence Day and fire and fireworks were clearly on July fourth. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. So uh, June, yeah, these are both June, June nineteen and June twenty second. So yeah, we we've got a time continuity. Okay, here. so here's here's the deal. So it was a typo. It looks like um, episode 103 shouldn't say June. It should say July 19th because that's two days after the previous episode in July 17th. 
it goes to July 19th and then July 22nd. So they just screwed up. The June should have been a July because the original episode was July 4th. Okay. So. So interesting. So for, uh, for this, this should be July 19 and, and July and 22nd. All right. Or yeah, July 19th and July 22nd. Let me double check that to make sure. So uh, we can we can go back and redo uh, the the Hello Megan details here. You can bring up that this episode takes place on July nineteen twenty two, and there was actually a typo on the screen in the last one, and we didn't catch it in our last episode. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, yeah, so interesting to me. Okay, one more thing I'm going to check, and then we can get back to work because that was definitely. Yeah, and fireworks has no timestamp. Hmm. What well, is that? Pretty much just picking up then from when the first one end. When independence oh, there day is a timestamp. No, there is a timestamp. It's July fifth at midnight oh one. Oh, okay. So first episode was July fourth, then July fifth, midnight oh one. So uh, that first minute past midnight, because it was after where, where Wally says, I'm sh I'm pretty sure it's after midnight. We could show you the moon. It actually is after midnight. It is actually after midnight. Yeah. So All that right. was it. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. All right. Back to action. All right. So where were we? Okay. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Um, why, why don't we just, uh, why don't you take it from... Um doing the, the yeah. hello megan section again so we'll just sure absolutely because because um, i ended with saying you know hey we're gonna talk about drop zone and, and this is uh, an episode you really enjoy and that's where you came yes out. anyway the director was christopher berkeley um hats off to you sir this was a great episode and the writer was andrew r robinson um andrew robinson has also written a ton a ton in the past so we have some we have some um some great people involved i don't know why i am wandering everywhere let's try that again um, if only James Amato are... was here, he could do a decent voice for this bit, but <laughs> exactly. he's not. No, no bits. We'll have no bits on the show. Serious. So, yeah, that's right. It's um, serious here, Rich. Talking about exactly. Bang. So, Mammoth Shimmer. Um, but it is a. It's another uh, music video that's. It's really a Nightwing tribute, but they use a lot of Young Justice. Uh footage oh my goodness where's my words um with that let's get on with that let's get on with it i don't like either one of those so there are three characters that have carried the name aqualad um let's try that again in 1964, the Teen Titans, Brave and the Bold, number 54, he joined the team of Robin and the two other teenage sidekicks. Sorry, I screwed that up as well. One more time. Aqualad joined up with Robin and Kid Flash in 1964's Teen Titans, Brave and the Bold, number 54. Uh... Jeez, man. Sorry. I totally messed up this paragraph. Hold on. The connection between their names. Sorry. Cut that. I already mentioned that. All right. I tried to cut way down on the ums for you, Caleb. This is Rich, and I am now recording. This is Darcy, and I am now recording. I have the waveforms. I have waveforms. I have to say that every time. I'm going to sing a song at some point, but just because. Um, About waveforms? Sing this waveform song? Have you not heard the waveform song? I don't think so. <gasps> do you not listen to talking games on your own network? I do, but I, I've, I'm horribly behind. I'm horribly behind oh. on everything. Yeah. Cinda does a waveform song, a new waveform song, almost every episode. I feel like she's done. Usually, I've like heard her do like sing song stuff, but I don't think I've heard this. 
No, she does. She's she's got like full versions that are now like God bonuses on the Patreon for people to. Download oh, she's so great. To, yeah, it's pretty fantastic. So I'm just basically stealing stuff from Never Tell Me the Pods. And, That's what I do. And <laughs> Total I, Party Thrill. Yeah. And talking games. Perfect. I'm like, if I can be a mishmash of my favorite podcasts, and it's I'm, a win, I'm right? <laughs> I'm right. I'm a happy camper. All right, great. Okay, so we'll have our little intro music. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Ah. And um and that's it. And then we'll have a little thing. We'll probably do a talk over at the beginning. And then here we go. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich, and I also have the waveforms. Alright. You ready? I'm Ener- ready. Energy? Energy? Um, Fate. Favorite episode? Here we go. I'm always up for some young justice. <laughs> Let's do uh, this. I can't wait. Who to put are you? Bloopers. <laughs> Wrong episode. Oh, sorry. Battle's always on my terms. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right. Hello, team. Welcome to the cave. I am. I'm gonna take that over because I forgot what I was gonna say. <clears throat> forgot who you were. I forgot who I was for a minute there. That's fine. Hello, team. Welcome to the cave. I am the Caleb G, and I hate monkeys. And I'm here to introduce the man who is taking his pie to go, Rich Howard. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. <laughs> yes! I've, I, Wait, I does, feel successful. Does that mean I'm a really bad dad? What is this? I don't know. No, Rich, you're a wonderful father. Oh, okay, you're... great. Also, I'm, from, I'm an alien from another planet. <laughs> and you're also a very hard-headed Kryptonian. Apparently. You know how hard-headed they could be. <laughs> All right, Caleb, we need to talk. See, I was supposed to be Batman in that shtick. <laughs> but I got... I'm, I'm, yeah, I got I'm apple, sorry. I got apple pie. I mean, the battle's always on my terms, so that means my That's terms fair. are to screw up what we're doing. <laughs> That's fair, Superboy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to talk about Superboy. Oh, I'm, Superboy. I'm so excited. All right. Let's do the rest of the housekeeping. Oh, <laughs> man, we're, we're just all over the place today, folks. <laughs> uh, so so let's, let's boil this down here. Oh, yeah, man. This is great. I'm loving this. Title is Schooled, one of my favorites. They're all one of my favorites, kind of. Now cut all that. That's garbage. So uh, with all that being said, Rich... I, I think it might be time to head out of the cave here. Let's do it. So uh, how do you want to do this ending now? We talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, you had some good ideas, but now I can't remember what you were what <laughs> Now you I'm kind quoted. of blanking out, too. Yeah, it's okay. So we um, want to say stay whelmed. Remember, keep binging YJ hashtag. So how about this? Um, uh, I'll, I'll do a little bit of a it's time to wrap up the episode. You... Uh, I'll tell everyone to uh, make sure they are feeling the aster. And then you can say, remember everyone, hashtag keep binging YJ, blah, blah, blah. That seems to be my thing now. And stay whelmed. I I think you ending on you saying stay whelmed is where we need to conclude. So I'll set you up for that. Perfect. Go for it. All right. I'll take that, the ending part over. Wally, 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 (laughs) wally. The man who is stuck with Teen Think in his head, Rich Howard. Uh, I don't get to see these before he pulls them. I'm just letting everybody know. <laughs> That's what I'm going for here, Rich. You're good. You're good. You're doing well. This is great. As always, <laughs> welcome to Whelmed the Young... And that's that's it. Just I, classic. Grr, I have a hook. That sets his thing. With a chain on it. Also doesn't say a lot either. Nope. It doesn't even say that. That's right. Is that all right? Sure. You're you're the boss. Am I? I've got the pie. I don't know. <laughs> You've got the pie. That's right. Well, I have the devil's food cake, so right. I guess we'll see what oh, happens. Look out. Um, How did we switch yeah, roles? That's not supposed to. You're Superboy, aren't you, in this analogy? <laughs> that's true. I don't know. We'll figure all it out. All right. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I am now recording. And awake. Let's do this. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. All right. Awake. All right. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> this is war. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> all right. Psyched up. Psyched up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Uh, I think one of the favorite things about this show is figuring out what you're going to pull from the episodes. I like to keep you guessing, Rich. I know. I love it. They don't. You don't type them into the outline. I love it. I know. I know. All right, man. Housekeeping, housekeeping. All righty. So welcome to Whelmed. Uh, shit, what episode is this? Six? Let me take that over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it it's a it's it's. We also get a. Um, blah, 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 blah. Hold on one second. I got to I got something in my throat. <coughs> Hello, blooper reel. <coughs> la la la. All right, here we go. Um, this is Rich, and I am now in symbiosis mode. And recording. Wonderful. All right, all right, all right. In the game, in the game. (laughs) Freshly groomed, Caleb. Freshly groomed. Freshly Feeling good. Right. Feeling good. And freshly fed and caffeinated rich. All right, let's do this. Oh, I'd like to point out my uh, my new phone case. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I love it. Is he pulling a boat? He is pulling a uh, a boat. uh, Aquaman (laughs) is... uh, here's, Here's the irony, the definition of irony... A non-waterproof Aquaman phone case. <laughs> oh, love it! I tried to find a a, a, a waterproof one because you know kids and all, but um, right, right, yeah, not so much. All right. <clears throat> so then, Calder arrives in Poseidonitis. I didn't pronounce Poseidon. that. Pos- Poseidonis. Poseidonis. <laughs> yeah. Man, I should practice before we start these things. <laughs> This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I am pretending to record so well it looks like I'm recording. It's Inception. It's a brave new world. Brave new world. All right. <clears throat> I'm in Simon's mind. Save it for the cast. That's a huge Save spoiler. Oh, sorry. we haven't even gotten there yet. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Simon. Dude, fucking Alan Tudyk. That's what I, I know, say. right? Fucking, if there's anything else to love about this damn show, it's the fact that Alan Tudyk is all over it, and I love it. <laughs> Definitely. Ah. And hashtag keep binging YJ. And? Oh, and stay whelmed. <laughs> Forgot my line. Let's do that Let's do as well. Let's do that again. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I am now recording. All right. Episode 999. Nine, nine. Nine, nine, fluffed balloons. I only do nines. Do, 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 do. Recognize. <laughs> Thumbrel Walker D01. You're so excited about that. Recognize the Caleb G D02. <laughs> yes, I am. It's fantastic. All right. Done recording? This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. Caleb, where are you? <laughs> Hello, team. And I just forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. <clears throat> Let me try that again. We're doing a show, Caleb. Oh, we're, we're doing, doing a podcast. Doing a podcast. That's podcast. right. <laughs> uh, all right. Take two. Excuse me. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Uh, this says my name on it, so I guess it's my turn. Um, Into believing that Tommy and Tuppets. 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 He. He. Yeah. <clears throat> Mrs. There's so many bloopers in this episode. This is <laughs> Mrs. great. Mrs. Tuppets. Mrs. Tuppets. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said Ermo. Artemis then sees the Did Ermo. I? All right. Yeah. Try that again. Young Justice. Yeah, it's the tape. Go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) Young Justice knows how to... We're both so excited about this episode. (laughs) We're just talking over each other. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I am now recording. And I'm too tired for a quip. Perfect. He said quippingly. Stay tuned for the next episode and stay whelmed. I mean, damn it. Wait, I said the wrong line. (laughs) 
Outtakes. 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 Okay. Bloopers. Uh, stay tuned it, for the- my name. My name is on that one. It says Rich. I'm. I'm not reading stay the outline. <laughs> what, do, what do you? Ex- I'm not that kind of professional. I wrote these outlines. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, try that again. So until next time, stay tuned. <laughs> Fuck, I forget where I left off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is this our episode 13 already? Wow. Yeah, episode wow. 13. Wow. No, that's okay. right. <laughs> bonkers. We record so far ahead of time that I like, I- I'm like, wow, this is a good episode. I'm in this episode. I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> when did I this. say that? <laughs> when did I say that? All right, all right. Which is one of those examples I gave in the debrief of the villains. Vandal Savage didn't expect to see Kid Flash. He kind of expected to see The Flash is what he's implying, but maybe not. Maybe he knew and he just said that to Kid Flash. But either way, he didn't He didn't want to stop. He could have stopped Kid Flash, maybe. But Vandal Savage, as powerful and as smart as he is, it's tough. He's got, it's going to be tough for him to stop a speedster. He knows that but he can distract him long enough. And he distracted him long enough, not that the queen actually died, but he made a psychological punch to Wally in that cold-hearted episode, and that's a calculated psychological warfare that Vandal Savage is going with. And this is the thing I love about the villains and the heroes. Again, everyone works at full capacity. You never wonder why didn't somebody do X. It's in their character too. It would have been, it needs to at least have been addressed. And um, man, everybody, everybody works. At, it's a rare occurrence where I'm making a note that somebody isn't working at full capacity in this show. Zatera, <clears throat> Zatera calls them out on having a psychic debate while leaving her and the adults out of the conversation. The team then kidnaps Zatanna to try and track down Red Tornado. Oops, In this sorry, case, I got you... that wrong. The team kidnaps. Wait, I... didn't I say Zatanna? I. It's uh, I, I messed it up. So it should have been Zatanna calls them out on having a psychic. Oh, I said Zatara, didn't I? You well, you did because I put it in there. I get them confused all the time. That's yeah. the problem. And you know, I saw that when you typed it, and I said to myself, "I need to say Zatanna." And I didn't, so that's on me. I'll just take it over. Okay. Until Zatanna uses another one of her spells. I'm going to try it again. Trubto. Ah, fuck, I lost it. (laughs) (laughs) Nope, nope. Uh, That others created him to be. (laughs) Burn. That's a verbal punch in the balls right there. (laughs) Absolutely. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich, and I'm not recording. I'm laughing because the amount of the deep breath you took before you recorded was hilarious. I, I, I don't know if I can handle this episode, man. <laughs> oh, boy. This, uh, there might be a lot of bloopers from this episode just from us breaking down emotionally. I know. I need to. I was in a Starbucks writing this outline, and it was. People were looking at me like, it's, Are you okay? Like, yeah, it's just everyone died. Anyway. So what we what we need, we need business cards so that when you are in Starbucks and you're just breaking down, you can say, yes, here, listen to this <laughs> podcast and, and you can understand why this is so important. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, my well, God. Well, we'll add that to the Patreon. <laughs> All right. We get business right. cards? Is a Patreon going to be a Patreon goal? All right. Yeah, why not? I have business cards for the RPG account. I'm in. Um, All right, let's. <laughs> All right, we're professionals. We can do this. We can do this. All right. Um, hopefully, this guy won't call me while we're recording. But if he does, I might pause real fast no, to take it. No, so please do. We'll just see what happens. That's fine. All right. Episode. Where are we? Episode fifteen. Oh fuck! Well, that's him. Good timing. Stand by. Okay. Don't go anywhere. All right. Sweet. Hey, hello. Hello, Caleb. In the future, this is Rich. You're taking a phone call. I wanted to say at the end of 2016, it has been an absolute pleasure doing this show for you, with you, not for you. Well, it's for both of us. It's therapy. But with you. Thank you for all you do for Whelmed and all you've done for me in 2016 and all our listeners who I know love you. 
and your total, total chaos at the beginning of every episode. <clears throat> I'm going to keep talking, I think, until you come back. We'll see how that goes. Oh, and there you are. Happy New Year. All right, I feel better now. Okay, good. God, I I can't wait to hear what you were actually saying <laughs> during those two minutes I was gone. What makes you think I was saying anything? Because it's you, Rich, and I know what you do when you have a microphone in front of you. <laughs> it's possible. I might have said something. Yeah. To, Ca- to right. Caleb in the future. All right, let's do this. <sighs> Hello, team. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even do the intro. God damn it. <laughs> Three seconds in, and it's dark. Three seconds, and I'm already falling apart. <laughs> well, I changed what I said for the last two episodes, and now I just forgot what I was going to oh, say. Oh, I see. Hello, team. Thanks for listening to episode 15 of... Fuck, I said it backwards. God damn it. (laughs) This is Caleb. I am now recording. Excuse me. This is Rich, and I am now recording. After having eaten a bite. Rich is eating lunch during our recording Mm. sessions. Yum, yum. What's for lunch, Rich? Uh, It is delicious Ethiopian food. That a friend of my ma, a friend of my wife's, brought over to our house, um, mixed with um, some roasted root vegetables that I made. It's actually quite delicious. Wow, that sounds like a grown-up meal. It's a real grown-up meal. They have these spices and stuff, and the Ethiopian food is so good. Or, sorry, I'm, I apologize. Not Ethiopian, Eritrean. They are different. Yeah. I'm, anyway, I'm probably gonna <laughs> make a frozen pizza when we're done. So outstanding. Bam. <laughs> There's, hey, everybody, if you want to know the difference between me and Rich, there you go. Besides the fact that I have, I'm have, i dead inside and I have no emotions, uh, I'm going to go eat some frozen garbage food while Rich is eating real hmm. grown-up healthy food. Coincidence? Oh, there it is. I think not. Well, hey, let's do this show so we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Sounds good. <coughs> and then Caleb chokes to death. Well, it's from you taking the words right out of my mouth, Rich. (laughs) Record. This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich, and I am now recording. (laughs) Okay. How do I start this? I said something different last time, and I totally forget what it was. Tense, ten second pause, and then (laughs) what's my line? (laughs) Line. What's what's my line? Line. Back to one. Everyone, back to one. (laughs) Reset. Still rolling. Still rolling. I honestly don't remember. (laughs) I think I try to stay consistent, but I think I've changed it a couple times. Yeah. With that health. With. (laughs) Damn it. Allow me to introduce Rich. He has the courage of Billy Baston. Howard! <laughs> Billy Baston? Wait, did I... Billy Damn Baston. It. <laughs> All right. Do you want to leave or take it, it again? This is Caleb. I'm now recording. This is Rich, and yeah, it's happening. All right. So, so confident there. That was that was unmotivating. We forgot to watch War. Oh, That's what the problem was. Do we need to stop and watch oh, dang it? Dang it! I don't know. Maybe. In the moment to die. Okay, I think I'm good. That's going into bloopers. <laughs> Muppet head. Muppet head. All right. Let's do this. You know, with those multiple personalities, I've been juggling. <laughs> That should be okay. <laughs> uh, this should get you the part. You could do the voice of Joker. Multiple personalities. Oof. I don't know if I could handle I'm Joker strictly voice. Bell Rev. <laughs> Crashing the mode. Yeah, it's crashed this mode. So, As, um, hey, Garfield. Hey, hey. Oh, sorry. Hey, I have a thing. What? I have a thing. You, you left me sicko. hanging. 
And now, Rich, you may continue. Oh, whatever. You and your spoiler warning. Podcast over. Anyway. We're done. <laughs> I'm talking about Garfield. Shh. To pimp my own other show for a moment over on the RPG Academy, <laughs> uh, we have a show segment called Detention where we talk about just random things. And we spoke with Taylor from... Shit, I should have looked this up. Pause. <laughs> Is is it Taylor Labresh from the Leviathan, the Leviathan Files? Uh, is it? I don't know. I gotta look it up. I forget his last name. I hope it's Taylor Labresh because I love Taylor. Uh, is he doing? Yes. Fuck. I don't know. God, I'm a horrible host. How do I not know who's in my own fucking network? Oh, hello, bloopers. I don't look know. Because you have little... fifty three segments in your fucking network hello uh, patrons listening Our... to bloopers as i have a little bit of a nervous breakdown <laughs> hey guys uh <coughs> yeah it is taylor it up for you yeah it is taylor yeah. labresh yeah yes taylor labresh from the yeah. Lithe about all right let's start that whatever you were gonna say over so yeah to <clears throat> fucking know what i was saying and if you i pimp your own show Back with Superboy, Guardian gives him full reign of Cadmus, and we learn that Double X trusts that Guardian doesn't know anything. Wait, trusts that? Reveals that? But that sentence doesn't make any sense. Hold on one second. We uh, learn Guardian that... Superboy, yeah, yeah. Double X trusts that Guard- Guardian doesn't know anything about a new super clone. He trusts... Okay, so that's... He uh, trusts okay. that Guardian doesn't know anything about it. Is that a weirdly phrased sentence? It, Sorry it is that. weirdly phrased. But Sorry, Dar- we're saying that Double X believes Guardian when Guardian says he doesn't know anything about. Okay, him. if you want to use a simpler, more accurate word, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just because you want to be more accurate and better written, fine. <laughs> be that way. Right to the bloopers. <laughs> Lex then gives Connor a packet of patches called shields that he says will suppress his human DNA and bring the Kryptonian DNA sequences for a short period of time. That. Bridge bridge the Kryptonian (laughs) DNA sequences. Ah, sorry. (laughs) What words are you using when you type this? (laughs) I was hacking up a lung. Give me a break. Fine. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, might have to rephrase that. Roy and Calder are. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, I take that again. <clears throat> I swear to God, I'm not going to die. All right. Artemis gets surprised by Cheshire in the bio. Um, who? D- <sighs> A bio? What? What? I don't know what that is. I'm from the south. Do you think I could be able to? <clears throat> Artemis is. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Deep breaths. Back to the action. There is a fight between Sportsmaster and that's that's not what I wanted to say at all. And I knew that she would appreciate. Hold on one second, Caleb. Sorry, my wife just came home. You, go in the room? you don't okay. have the little red light on by the door? Yeah, we don't have the recording light on by the door. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, you were saying you and your wife... Oh, uh, right. So we, shows yeah. that abuse the... Yeah. Board? <coughs> this is Caleb. I am now recording. <coughs> Sorry. I'm also recording. <coughs> Okay, that was... Uh, and slowly dying. Like finished season go. one. <sighs> we gotta make it through. <sighs> yes, April 7th. Sorry. Let me do that again. You threw me off with the Petri dish. <laughs> um, Parasite's not known as the smartest tool in the shed. Or the s- smartest tool in the shed? The sharpest tool in the shed. Um, but still... Cool. No, it's 40 minutes. Felt like I was wandering there for a minute. Sorry. I'm starting to get a little out of breath and tired. 
This is Caleb. I am now recording. This is Rich. I am now recording. Um, just give me one second because I, I need to actually bring up the episode again. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, all, all those great bloopers from the first time around are now lost to the interwebs. Oh. Oh, no. Eh. Eh. Dang. Eh. It's okay. You can still, you can, oh, no. man. No. I, I blame Google. I'm going to blame Google for this one. Comedy gold, man. No one's going to actually see that comedy gold. Google, if you are listening, this is your fault. <laughs> yeah. E- excuse me. <laughs> excuse yeah. me. The, the Google Androids are about to break through my window and subdue me. Oops. <laughs> right, right. said that. Wait, 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 wait. Give me, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> pull it together. I love you, man. Pull it, pull it together. Right. You, you are present, okay, rich, that's... not future, rich. Future, rich knows what's happening. Present, rich <laughs> doesn't. Pull it together. I'm a president. I can do this. All right. Uh... Bits on bits. All right. Take take two. Take two. Bits on bits. Take two. <laughs> Sorry. Did you did you see my typo when I was fixing Mammoth the blockbuster? I wasn't. I, I wrote clock clockbuster. I wasn't gonna bring it up. <laughs> it's once again like this rich background. Sorry, garbage truck is coming. Just give it a sec; it'll be gone. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, gar- garbage trucks going the other direction. All right, we'll pause for a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Come on, California. They usually come in. Well, they usually they're usually here and gone at seven a.m. So I don't know why it's taking so long. Come on, California, get your act together. This is why I don't live there. Garbage trucks. Yep, absolutely. That's it. Not, not the expense of living out there or the heat or the fact that I don't want to move. <laughs> or the fact that I'm scared of, of big cities. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't be fear. Oh, it's hundred hundred percent. I'm scared of big cities. Uh, <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't be announcing so, that on the air. <laughs> nice. Um, and A zero one is actually Snapper Car, if I remember correctly. I'm actually going to look that up right now. Just in doing justice, which is why we're not B. I've, I've noticed that some people think that we put ourselves as B is in boy zero one and B is in boy zero two. But that's not actually it. It's D. We went D because there's already an A, a B, a C, which is the team, the team from season two. And then we went ahead and gave ourselves the D designations for all of our guests. Um, so let's see. So, yeah, A01 is, is uh, Snapper Carr. A02 is uh, Catherine Cobert, who I believe is their PR. Yeah. Their PR, it's their PR person that we see at the at the Hall of Justice, uh, Kat Cobert. And then A03 is actually uh, Zatara. So, oh, I'm sorry, Zatanna. Zatanna? Is it Zatanna? Yeah, I think it's Zatanna. Oh, um, so she, she had that designation when she was a guest before she became part of the team. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, so, so that makes and then perfect she beca- sense. Right, and then they have A04 listed for Jason Bard, who is the Marine in uh, Failsafe, but that's because A04 at that time... So, first of all, that was a dream, and so Martian Manhunter would have known that there was no one else, and the next number would have been A04, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And then it got, of course, in the real world was A04 for Vandal Savage, um, and then there's also a note here that A04 is also John Smith, the, uh, android body of, um, Red Tornado, who probably does need a, a designation, but I'm not sure why he would also be on that. Anyway, mm. bit of a, bit of an aside there, but that's why. All right. That's the answer to okay. your question. Also satisfying is the fact that we basically bookend season one with New Year's. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We started with the New Year's. We end with the actually. New we Year's. didn't start with New Year's. We started with Fourth uh, of July. It was six months. Wow, I'm stupid. No, you're not. No, I'm going to cut all that out. <laughs> 
I don't know why I, I've been talking. Wow, I'm dumb. No, you're not dumb. I don't Stop. know why you have me on. Rich, Rich, I don't know why you have me on this show. You should just Because fire you me. make me look good? I don't, what? No, that's not <laughs> true. Okay, so. Never mind. That's not true. So, uh, so, as always. Inc- not much to crash hey, in this Hey, room. I, oh, hey. I had to walk over you one more time. This is time. the last time I, I get to, to it say it. one more time. It. This is the last time I get to say it. <laughs> it's the last time I get to walk over you. Hey, if you've got any of that uh, uh, fan-written stories that our good friend Emily was so fond of, some fan fiction, that's the word I was thinking of. I'm going to take that over. <laughs> hey, if you've got... <laughs> Yay! We did it! And it only took two All takes. Right, I... I quit. <laughs> That's it. Get out. <laughs> All right. I'm done. See you. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Let's stop recording. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our computer is voiced by Madison Ray. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed.